SBA Scat Track World Finals, a new pro world champion was crowned as Chris Cachetti dethroned the four-time and defending world champion Jeff Jacobs. But the changes were just beginning. Prior to this year's national tour, the IGSBA rewrote the rulebook, encouraging involvement from many different manufacturers. The result was the most competitive year of racing in recent memory. Victor Sheldon stepped forward to claim his first national title, denying Jacobs his sixth straight national championship. Today, Victor Sheldon returns to Lake Havasu City, Arizona to prove that his championship is no fluke. Bichetti and Jacobs are here as well to take on the best the world has to offer, including national champions from Australia, Japan, Canada, and Europe. All this plus the world championships in freestyle as Performance Jet Ski presents the Scat Track World Finals. Welcome to beautiful Lake Havasu City, Arizona, and the Nautical Inn Resort for this, the 11th Annual $50,000 Scat Track World Finals, part of the IGSBA, the International Jet Sports Boating Association. This five-day event has attracted over 500 competitors from 17 different countries, and 35,000 people have come out to watch the best jet sports racing in the world. David Stanfield, a two-time world champion, Larry Rippenkroger, and Larry, let's talk about the international contingent. They are strong, and they're ready to race. Well, they are here. They are not on vacation this year, probably for the first time in the history of the sport we have a number of international riders that have a chance of winning either an individual title or quite possibly an overall world championship let's start at the top though our national champion victor sheldon victor sheldon had a great season he would love to cap it off with a world title but a couple of days ago injury victor sheldon on his mountain bike about a little over a week ago unfortunately was involved in an accident he's got 15 stitches in his knee just a couple of days ago was the first time he was able to bend that knee he's out here this weekend he really wants to win, but the starts are going to be critical for Victor. He's having a real problem getting up into the tray of a ski on the start. He is still in the title hunt after we've had slalom and pro modified race number one. Pro modified race number one was a runaway for this man, Jeff Jacobs, who he had a disastrous year last year here and not a very good season. Yeah, it was a rough season for Jeff Jacobs. He comes in this weekend probably with more to prove than anybody else. He has been the most dominant rider in the sport. He's had some bad luck in the past year, but he comes out here this weekend to show that he is not over the hill yet by any means. He is out here to show that his dominance is going to continue for many years to come. And he did that in pro-modified race number one. In fact, he's on the new 750 machine, and he lapped the entire field except three riders. Jeff Jacobs really dominated. He's going after the world title. Let's talk about the matchup, though, that the crowd seemed to favor. First and foremost, the defending world champion, Chris Fischetti. Well, Fischetti in the qualifying rounds looked absolutely incredible. He was the only pro competitor to win both of his pro mod race qualifiers, including a heat with the likes of Jacob Sheldon and Nicholas Rius. After Fischetti's performance in qualifying, many put him as the man to beat even above Jacobs. And a world championship repeat looked very much within reach. For today's competition, the master of crowd appeal donned fish fins on both himself and his mascot, and then went out and won the pro slalom competition with his first of two passes through the slalom course. A tremendous confidence booster for the fish. The slalom competition is one third of the world championship, the other two thirds being the two pro modified race, so it is a tremendous advantage to win the slalom event. Euro champ Nicholas Rios took second and a respectable third going to an injured Victor Sheldon, but it was pro modified race number one where things went bad for the fish. After a first lap tangle with Rios, the fish pulled into the pits with boat problems only to find that the spark plug cap had fallen off. They put the cap back on, finished the race, but his hopes to repeat as world champion are gone. The big news, though, is Nicholas Rios out of Marseille, France, 18 years old, the four-time European world champion. He was very fast early on, in fact, a second place in slalom, but uh, anticipation was building for pro modified race number one. He is very talented. He really is, and he's improved a great deal, and he is the talk of the town right now, the sensation from France, only 18 years old, not a lot of experience yet, but he has certainly got the speed. In qualifying yesterday, he looked absolutely phenomenal, decimated his competition, and it looked like it was going to be indeed a showdown between him and Chris Pichetti. Disappointment happened, though. He had trouble at the start. In fact, he even missed a buoy. Pro Mod race number one was not kind to Rios. The same incident that knocked Pichetti's plug cap loose also knocked Rios to the wrong side of a right-hand buoy. Later, after Pichetti rejoined the race, they tangled again, and from there, things got personal. Even though Pichetti was a lap down, he wanted to let Rios know how he felt about the first lap incident. 
but it was very entertaining for the 35,000 spectators on hand. Unfortunately, all of this removes these two highly favored competitors from contention for the world championship. But if anything, this will fuel the fire for these two to prove themselves in pro-modified number two. So right now, the world championship looks like it's going to be between Jeff Jacobs and Victor Sheldon, but there's going to be some bad feelings on the line. The start is critical. It is, especially for Victor Sheldon, as we mentioned. That knee, if he can get up into the trach, get his timing down, it's going to come down to Victor Sheldon and Jeff Jacobs for the overall title. Jacobs holds the lead of a single point over Sheldon. Basically, whoever finishes in front of the other in Pro Mod Race 2 will be the pro overall world champion. Beautiful conditions for racing. Now let's go to the third member of our team, Todd Harris. Todd? Thanks, you guys. I'm standing knee-deep in beautiful Lake Havasu racing water. And whoever dialed in the weather today, they did a great job. The three days preceding, we've had hail, high winds, flash floods, thunderstorms. But today, it is an absolute beautiful day. Blue skies, water temperature around 65 degrees, air temperature 88 degrees. All the champions are here. It's going to be a great day. The fans are going to get their money's worth. Back to you. Thank you, Todd. For the racers, this is definitely the moment of truth. Being at the for Jacobs, the potential to regain his world championship. For Pichetti, to prove that the crown he earned here last year is where it belongs on a day that started out so perfectly. And while revered throughout history for its colonial charm, Despite his boat problems in pro-modified race one, Chris Fischetti definitely has the support of the fans here today. The crowd here is proof positive that the interest in personal watercraft racing has grown immensely over the years. Now, Larry, as the racers ready themselves, let's take a look at the course that the IGSBA race director, Glenn Bothwell, has prepared for us today. The course this weekend is wide open and extremely fast. From the beach, the starting straightaway is a little unusual. It angles off to the right enters into a left hand first turn sweeping with a decreasing radius sweeping right hand turn then we go into the tightest turn in the entire course a hard left I think that's gonna be one of the key points of passing today down the front straight into the most difficult portion of the course we have a log jump right after that turn a double yellow right hand turn into a double left red with another log jump in between those two buoys a chicane section and then back out into the long back straightaway, that traditional long Havasu full throttle back straightaway, back through the left-hand side of the course to complete lap number one, and then continue on for a total of 15 laps. Pro modified race number two on the line for the world championship. Chris Fischetti has pole position. Next to him is arch rival Nicholas Rios. The engines are fired up. They're ready to go. Dave McConnell, number 32 on the outside. Victor Sheldon is on the inside. And Victor with a great start. 